Morgan. And I'm Christy. Thank you for choosing Tab Performance. Lane here again with uh, another product that Tab Performance carries. We've got a K&P Engineering Stainless Steel Micronic Oil Filter. These things are absolutely beautiful and from what I can tell they're doing a great job. What we're going to do today is go through a normal oil change and I'll show you how these things are installed, cleaned, and how we take care of those. The things you're going to need to make the oil change here, you're going to need a 3 8 drive ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket, a couple of 6 inch 3 8 drive extensions, the removal tool that comes with the oil filter. I like to use a funnel for putting the oil back in, a drip pan for catching the oil, and I've also got an auxiliary drip pan here just in case there's any overspill. I also use Mobile One V Twin 2050. You can also use AMS oil, either of those are really good full synthetic oils, and it's a lot better than the Sin 3 that Harley gives you. And uh, one more thing on the oil filter here. It comes with, like I said, the, the removal tool, and it comes with one extra O-ring just in case you need it for the oil filter, which it seems like it's going to hold up for the life of the bike, so hopefully we don't have a problem with that. Okay, and we'll get right to it. What we're going to do is drain the oil. Uh, that's underneath the bike from the front, you can see the plug. We'll go ahead and loosen this up. And once it's loose, it should come out by hand really easily. It is aluminum sometimes, so it does get a little galled up. And this is the very front of the oil pan, straight down underneath cylinder number one. And you're going to just pull that plug until just like so. So we pulled the oil plug, and while it's draining here, what you like to do is clean this magnet off that's on the end of the oil plug. It's right here. And then also, another thing you're looking for is the color of the oil. You should be changing out your oil every, every year or three to 5,000 miles, depending on you know the oil and your preference, honestly. It's 3,000 miles, keeps it nice and clean and safe, and I've finally got about 3,000 on it, so it's time for the change. And as you can see, it's not black. It's still almost that gold color that oil should be. So obviously this oil filter is doing its job and there wasn't very much metal on this magnet here because the oil filter also has a magnet on the inside of it. And as long as we're pulling the metal off and this oil looks this good, I know my engine's protected. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and remove the filter. And like I said earlier in the video, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that uh, aluminum cut edging on it looks real nice so here's the I don't know if you can see it very well or not but there is the tool for removal and you just slide that if you don't get it stuck slide it right on the end of the filter I have to swing the kickstand down out of the way so that I can put my extensions in I'll go ahead and connect them up and we'll loosen the oil filter go now that's going to be the oil running off coming out of the filter I'll run it out just far enough to let it drain and then I'll go ahead and remove the filter and I'll show you the cleaning steps okay I've removed the filter and now I'm draining it out and as you can see this thing is just it's absolutely beautiful it looks just as good as the day we put it in there so well we'll wipe it down make sure it's all cleaned out and I'll show you how to tear it apart here in just a second Okay, so we've got it out, and to remove the, the center nut, you just press down, turn it until it comes out the slots here. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Here's that rare earth magnet that this filter has in it that picks up all the excess metal shavings. And to have that available is really, really nice. And this one's actually really clean, and so is the filter element, as you can see here. So that's, that's amazing. And then essentially all that's left is the spring down on the inside so with some dawn water you go ahead and just submerge everything and uh, get her all washed up cleaned out make sure you wipe down in the filter element and everything you can use a little running hot water uh, would be fine but first thing I like to do because we use the oil recycling this will all go in a in a tub and down to the local shucks or 
O'Reilly's or somewhere nearby and it'll all go uh, where it's supposed to and then after that I can use some hot water and clean up the minor amount of residual that's left. But you just take paper towels and you just clean down inside these screens, wipe everything off and scrub it all the way out. And it's the same thing on the exterior of your so little Dawn water cleans it right up. Wipe it out on the inside. Your O-ring should be seated nicely on the on the outside here. And once that's all cleaned up, you dry it by hand or with paper towels. Let it air dry a little bit and reinstall it just the way it came out. And after I get it reinstalled, I'll show you how to fill the oil on it and we'll fire it up and make sure everything's working good. Okay, now that I've taken the filter and gotten it all cleaned up, there's no real residual oil left on it at all. I want to go ahead and reverse flush this out with some hot water straight out of the tap. And I want it to flow any of that out that might be left in there. So now you can see a little bit better. This is where the rare earth magnet's located, and then there's an overpressure spring port right there so that if there's too much pressure the screen gets clogged it'll flow directly through that little ball valve that's right there and it'll flow back up and in. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together and I'll show you filling the oil. Okay so on reassembly of the oil filter you take the spring drop it down into the bottom so that it's up. I don't know if you can see it down in there or not but it's up so that when you push down on it it holds it in place. So there are three slots along the sides on the outer rim of this uh, outer casing and you're just going to go ahead and drop that down in and it'll push down turn to the right and lock into position and now it won't slide out of there and it's all locked in and then just like with a normal oil filter install get a little bit of oil on the o-ring here use a removal install tool and go ahead and tighten her back up just snug doesn't have to be super tight just like any other oil filter you don't want it crank down so tight in there that you can't get it off later and as you can see that is one pretty little unit and it did a really good job of filtering so uh, I'll definitely recommend this from K&P engineering for years to come okay so we're gonna go ahead and remove the oil cap which is also the dipstick on this model there's no sight glass on on the v-rods as you can see we are getting ready to fill it up. Now like I said I like to use a funnel that just keeps me from spilling all over the place and uh, I'm using Mobile One V-Twin 2050 full synthetic and uh, this is good for all portions of the engine tranny combo clutch included and we just go ahead and pour it in slow this bike holds five quarts so we should be able to just fill it all the way up Okay, so we've got the oil all filled up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna fire it up. Once uh, the fuel pump primes, what you're gonna check for, you run it for 20, 30 seconds, watch for dripping oil, uh, leaks, run it just long enough to get the engine just slightly warmed up, and then we'll check the oil level and it should be good to go. again is located at the oil fill port and just use a paper towel or a rag wipe it off and you'll notice on the dipstick there's a checkered area right through here top of the checkered area is full the bottom of the checkered area you need to add a half a quart run it all the way in as straight as possible thread it all the way down because that quarter inch makes a difference Back it all the way out as straight as possible. Read your dipstick. And we are in full. And this one's good to go. Ride every day. Perform every second.